Coach Devin here. The number one thing I say to people every day, all day, for the 26 years I have been training, don't drink your calories. Look, <laughs> I say this so many times a day, it drives me crazy. But I'm going to make it real simple. Here's the thing. Calories are a unit of energy that we figure out for how much we're taking in. Right? If you want simple math for how many calories you can eat in a day is take your body weight in pounds, multiply it by 10, that's how many calories you need to maintain your body weight and be the weight you are. That's how it works. Now, if you're drinking your calories, you have a problem. Now, I am not against, you know, you have to want to have a glass of wine at night. That's okay. No big deal. If you want to have a beer, that's okay too. You want to have a glass of rum, whatever it is your thing, do it. You know, because you have to have reasonableness in your life. Everybody needs reasonableness in their life. If you like, you know, if you like to drink some stuff, have a drink. The problem is if you drink a lot of your calories, you will gain a lot of fat. Those are the facts. It sucks. It doesn't make people super happy, but it's the facts. Just the way it is. So say you're one of those people you want to come home and have three or four beer. Now I don't drink beer, but beer have a lot of calories in them. Sometimes we're talking two, three hundred calories in a beer. That's a lot of calories. Now, why is that important? Because it's not the calories you have right now today that are the problem. The problem is the calories you have over the course of the week and the month and the year. Calories add up. Beer, spirits, wine, whatever it is, it adds up. Let's take some simple math. We say we have one drink every day that is a hundred extra calories. Okay? That's it. 365 days a year, you have that one drink. Nothing wrong with that. There isn't anything wrong with it. You know what? And I would tell you, no big deal. Don't worry about it. The problem is, at the end of the year, you've gained one pound. Because to gain one pound of fat, you need 3,500 extra calories above your diet. So that one drink a day for a year at 100 calories can turn into an extra pound of body fat. Not a huge amount. That's not a big, big deal. If you said to me, you like to have a glass of wine, it's 100 calories and you're having it every day, I would say don't worry about it because you know what? Be a little active. You can burn off 100 calories super easy. Not a big deal to worry about. The problem is people decide that they're going to have two drinks, three drinks, four drinks. You're drinking pop all day. You're drinking coffee. Not that there's anything wrong with coffee. You want to drink coffee, fill your boots. But if you're drinking coffee and you're adding sugar and it's a double, double, triple, whatever, I don't drink coffee. So, I, I don't know what a large Americano, double, triple, whatever, quadruple, espresso, like, I don't know. I know there's a lot of words in it. I know people like coffee. I'm not a big coffee drinker. When I drink coffee, I get a little crazy. I am a little hard on the head. <laughs> as you can see, as it is, I'm a little intense. So coffee, not the best choice for me. It's just not good. But say you're a coffee drinker and you're drinking one of those large quadruple whatevers. You drink that thing and it's 250, 300 calories. Because you know what? A lot of those suckers have it. They are action-packed with calories. You drink two of those a day, man, you got a problem. In five days a week, if you're putting in an extra 600 calories, now you're gaining a pound a week almost. You're, you're right on the cusp because that's 3,000 extra calories a day and you're drinking it. So why is this such a pet peeve of mine? It drives me crazy. Why is that? It's really simple because if you drink your calories, there's no nutritional value to it and you don't get full. That's the problem with drinking your calories. If you have a glass of wine, you're not more full after your glass of wine. If you're a little peckish, you're like, you don't think, hey, I'm a little hungry. I'm going to have a beer. No, you're going to need some food and maybe have a beer, right? This is the problem with drinking calories. If you drink your calories in the form of Coke, coffee, spirits, wine, beer, whatever it happens to be, if you drink those calories, you have a problem. And the reason you have that problem is because you haven't gotten any nutritional value. You're not satiated. You're not full. If you're not full, what happens? Bad things happen if you're not full. They just, it, it, those are the facts. Bad things will happen because you're going to eat more because you're not actually satiated. So that is the problem with drinking your calories. If you drink a lot of your calories, 300 calories in a day, 30 days, Tons of calories, right? That's a lot of calories out there. You're gaining weight on a regular basis because it takes only 3,500 extra calories to put on one pound of fat. 
So you have to think about those things. If you're drinking your calories, you're setting yourself up for failure. So what's the best way to do that? Do you have to stop drinking wine? Do you have to stop drinking beer? You're not allowed to have coffee anymore? No, that's stupid. I, I'm not a fan of anything that says to you, you can't do this. Yes, you can have one. You know what? Let's go back to coffee. Yes, you can have coffee, but maybe not a large, extra large, quadruple, whatever it happened, mocha, whatever. Take a look at the types of coffee out there. Do you need to have the one that's 300 calories or can you have the one that's 150 calories? If you can handle the one, you like the one that's 150, 125 calories, drink that. Have that because you know what will happen with that? You'll feel like you still got something good. You'll be like, oh, all right, that was pretty good. I like that. And what happened, you just, <clears throat> pardon me, you just saved yourself 150 calories a pop. That's a lot of calories to save. 150 calories compared to 300 calories, huge difference, right? This is, you've got to take a, a baby step approach. Cut out small, if you're a beer drinker and you drink type A, listen, I don't drink beer. So I can't, I can't really speak about the kinds of beer out there that you drink. But if you're drinking a beer that has 200 calories and you can drink a beer that has 75, pick the 75. If you have a glass of wine and this much wine is 200 calories and you can drink half of that or a different kind of wine for a lower caloric level, take the lower one. If you can drink pop and you can drink pop zero instead, you know, you drink Coke or Coke zero, choose Coke zero. Why? You're not drinking as many calories. Drinking your calories is the single worst thing you can do. It really, really is. Outside of going to McDonald's every day, it's the worst thing you can do. Because again, no nutritional value. You're not full. You're going to continue eating because you have to get full. Which means you will overeat on your calories, which means you will get fatter. And none of us are looking to get fatter. Everybody wants to be leaner. There's nobody out there going, I'd like to be a little fatter right now. It's not like that. So don't drink your calories. If you are drinking calories, make smart decisions. Read. Pay attention. Research. It takes two seconds. We live in the information age. Your phone, which is what I'm using to make this video, you can look up everything. And you can find out that, hey, I'm going to go with less calories on this and pick a lower caloric number. Pick something that has a lower number because you know what? If you're going to drink two of these and they're 700 calories or you're going to drink two of these and they're 200 calories, you're way a heck, way the heck ahead if you take the one that has fewer calories. You will be happier because you'll be leaner. You'll feel better. You're not carrying around extra weight. It, is, it just is what it is. So the best thing you can do, stop drinking your calories. I tell this to everybody. If you stop drinking calories, you will be more successful. I promise promise you'll be more successful have yourself a great day stay off those grand crapo mocha whatevers just just cut them down guys cut them down a bit have yourself a great day don't fight the awesome